In this tutorial, we're going to create a simple game with a tank vehicle in Unity. Unity is a free game engine that enables anyone to make games and interactive applications. After you make a game in Unity, you can output it to multiple formats, such as Xbox, PlayStation, iPhone or Android, WebGL, Smart TV, or Facebook games. For now, we're going to look at Unity's interface and do some basic modeling. Make sure you've downloaded and installed Unity from the Unity website, and once you open it, you'll see the default gray interface with a number of windows open. First, let's switch the layout view from the default to 2x3 by clicking the drop down menu. The large window you see is the scene editor, and this is where you'll add new models, lights, and environments, and you'll be able to preview what's going on in your game. The controls for Unity are fairly intuitive, but it might take a little practice to get used to them. To rotate the view in the scene editor, you right click the mouse and drag around. To zoom in and out, you move the roller wheel or the scroll ball on your mouse forwards and backwards. To pan left and right or up and down, hold down the middle mouse button, which is usually the roller wheel, and drag the mouse in whichever direction you'd like to pan. So the basic navigation controls in the scene window are rotate, zoom, and pan. Now we're going to create a brand new project. Click file, new project, and choose a location for your files. Then create a new folder for your project. Rename it and save your file. Beneath the scene editor window, we have the game window, which lets you test the game and preview what it will look like when you output by pressing the play button. To get out of play mode, you can click stop or press escape on the keyboard. The hierarchy window shows you all of the objects that are currently in your scene, such as cameras, lights, individual objects, and groups of objects. The projects window shows all of the objects that are available to you to use in your scene. These are stored in your assets folder, but they only become visible in the scene after you drag something from the project window to the hierarchy window or into the scene itself. The inspector window is where you can make changes to the objects in your scene. For example, you could change the scale, the position, or the rotation of an object, or any other properties that it might have, as well as adding and modifying components to it. Usually when making a game, you would create the 3D assets using 3D modeling software, such as Blender, 3ds Max, or Maya, but for now we're going to do the modeling in Unity. We're going to make a really simple tank object using only a few basic primitive shapes. First of all, add a cube to the scene by clicking Game Object in the top menu and then selecting 3D Object and choosing Cube. You should see a cube now in the scene and the game windows. Also notice that a cube has been added to the hierarchy window. Click on this or on the cube itself and its properties will appear in the inspector window on the right. Once you have an object in your scene, there are three basic ways to interact with it. You can move the object, you can rotate it, and you can scale. At the top of the scene window, there are icons for pan, move, rotate, scale, and transform. If you click each of these, notice that the gizmo on the cube changes. Arrows for move, circles for rotate, and cubes for scale. You can change the object's properties by interacting with the gizmo. For example, by dragging one of the arrows in move mode on the X, Y, or Z axis. Notice that when you do this, the properties in the inspector panel change accordingly. You can also type values directly into the inspector panel for position, rotation, and scale under the transform component of the cube. The keyboard shortcuts for the transform tools are Q for pan, W for move, E for rotate, and R for scale. Try adjusting each one of these to get used to changing the basic properties of the cube. For the body of the tank, we're going to use the scale tool to flatten and stretch the cube. So press OR and then flatten the cube and make it a bit wider. Reposition it at 000 by typing the values into the position boxes for X, Y and Z in the inspector window. You can view your object from different angles quickly by clicking on the axis icon in the top right of the scene window. For example, if you want to see the x-axis, click on the x and the scene will flip views. Next, add a cylinder to the scene by choosing Game Object, 3D Object, Cylinder. Rotate, reposition and scale the cylinder so that it looks like the wheels or the tracks 
on both sides of the tank. It should be a little bit wider than the cube body of the tank. Use the navigation, rotation and panning to check the tank from different angles. Next, we're going to make the top of the tank, again using another cylinder. Add one from the Game Object 3D Object menu and resize and reposition it on top of the tank. The final part we're going to make is the tank's cannon, which we will make from another cylinder. Add one more from the Game Object menu and drag it out into a long thin cannon. If you have any issues with the positioning of these objects, just type 000 into the position properties of the inspector window and they'll snap to the center of the scene. You should also continually check the tank from different angles by clicking top, front and side view. Now let's organize the hierarchy window a bit. First, rename each object to what it actually is. So the cube should become tank body and the cylinders should become tank tracks tank top and tank cannon respectively. Now we'll group them all together. Click Game Object, Create Empty and rename it in the hierarchy window to Tank. Now select all of the other tank elements and drop them onto the tank object. You should see that the individual elements become children of the tank parent. You can show or hide the contents of grouped objects by clicking the drop down arrow beside its name. If you select the tank parent in the hierarchy window, all of the children are also selected. But you can still select and modify the individual elements separately if you want to as well. Download a camouflage texture and a texture for the tracks from Google Images and apply it to the tank. Once you import it to the assets folder, all you need to do is drag it onto the objects to UV map. In this tutorial, we've looked at the Unity interface, how to add and modify objects in the scene, and we've created our first game asset, a very simple tank vehicle.